So you've decided to start your own YouTube channel, but don't actually have the required tools nor skills to design the actual banner? Well, if that's the case, don't worry, since I'm going to show you how to make a Galaxy banner using Placeit's YouTube Banner Maker. I'm Andrew, and you're watching an Envato Task Plus tutorial. We're going to start by heading over to the Placeit website, where we'll want to take the time and set up a new account, since we're going to need it later on in order to download the final design. Once you're ready, we can access the tool by heading over to Designs and then scrolling through the horizontal list until we find the YouTube Banner Maker. Here we'll quickly discover a great selection of different theme banner templates from which we can choose from. Since I wanted to save some time, I went ahead and picked two Galaxy templates that I really liked. As you can see, each design comes with its own set of options which we can adjust in order to customize it according to our needs. Since I was really curious of how the tool behaves, I've already created and downloaded the customized version of the second design, which as you can see ended up looking really good. That being said, let's go back to the first template and see what it takes to make it our own. No matter what template we end up using, the editing layout will mostly be the same. On the left side we'll have all our text related options, while on the right one we'll find all the background and shape related ones. To change any of the default text, all we have to do is click on its corresponding input box and then override the preview one with our own. We can adjust any given text segment by changing its font and even its color using the underlying drop down list. When it comes to colors, we can either choose from one of the predefined values or we can click on more and define a custom one of our own. If we need to, we can actually hide a text segment by clicking on the little checkbox found in front of it. Once we've finished adjusting our text segments, we can move on to the right side of the page, where we'll quickly see an option called Top Bar Color, which allows us to control the look of the rectangle found underneath our channel's name. We then have Lower Bar Color and Right Bar Color, which allow us to further adjust the visibility of our text segments by increasing or decreasing the contrast between the actual background and the smaller rectangles. If we move on down, we'll find another option called Arrow, which lets us control the color and shape used for the call to action button. Finally, we have Background, which as the name suggests, allows us to choose from one of the different available images or load a custom one of our own using the custom image button. For the current example, I'm going to go with the default one, since the other images are unrelated to my Galaxy theme. Since the template supports interactive editing, we can easily adjust the position of our banners composing elements by first selecting them in order to bring up their bounding box and then simply clicking and dragging them into the desired direction. We can also resize them by hovering over their bounding box's corners and then clicking and dragging other outwards or inwards depending on what we're trying to achieve. If for some reason we aren't happy with the adjusted layout, we can easily undo all the changes by using the Reset Layout button. Once we've finished customizing the template using the YouTube Banner Maker, we can go ahead and download the resulting design by simply clicking on the Download button, which will charge us a small fee every time we use it. At this point, we can finally open up our YouTube channel's page and load our custom created banner design. To do so, first click on the profile image and then navigate to your channel and click on the banner placeholder, which should bring up the upload window. As soon as we've selected our file, it will give us a preview of how the design will actually look like across all the different available devices. Once we're ready, all we have to do is click on the select button, which should immediately update our channel's banner. That being said, I hope you found this video useful, and I'll see you in the next one.